crafty friend. It's Marie from Marie's Vermont Creations. I just wanted to share with you today the, um, it's celebration time. Um, so share with you some of the items in this catalog and also um, the occasions catalog. I've made a few projects. I had originally done a video when I received all of my stuff, but unfortunately the I did it at lunchtime and I was kind of in a hurry. It didn't come out very well. So I just, I had done a couple of projects. So I was going to share those with you to see some of the items actually in use. So um, this catalog is live now, January 5th until May 31st, um, along with the yearly catalog, obviously. So it's celebration time. So what that means for every $50 you spend, whether it be from this catalog, the clearance rack, um, the original catalog for every fifty dollars you spend you get to pick one item out of this catalog and that's unlimited so if you spend a hundred dollars you get two items and so on and so forth so um, and they do list projects in here so it doesn't mean that you have to buy this particular set of items to get this stamp set this is just the example to make this project right here um, one thing to note is the items in the back of the catalog are limited time so um, this sky is the limit uh, the perfectly artistic designer series paper and the Hello stamp set are only available until February 15th. So if you want to get any of those items, I would start with those. So I'm going to show you some projects I've made using some of these items. So this is the first card and it says dream without fear, love without limits. Um, so this is using the all abloom designer series paper stack. The papers in here are gorgeous. You know, I used this paper for all of the cards that I've made today. Um, they're just amazing. I love all of them and I have a feeling I'm going to need to order another one because I will go through. This is my absolute favorite. So, um, just to give you an idea of the different designs that are in here. So um, that card's using this piece of paper. I did take the um, spring flower embossing folder and embossed this. And the stamp set is um, from Picture Perfect, which is a three-step stamp um, for these flowers. And I had done this flower and ended up I fussy cut it out and ended up not using it for any project, but that's how beautiful that is. It gives you quite the dimension and layers um, for it. So I can't wait. I haven't done the hummingbird yet, um, but I'm going to make a note card set for my mom because she absolutely loves hummingbirds. So that was that. And also an item featured on here is the washi tape, which is a birthday set. Um, this, this set here. I've used this in several of the projects that I've made. Um, absolutely love all of these. I haven't used these yet, but these three I have already used. Um, so that's that card. Oh, and these are the um, the dots that are on there. These are the It's My Party enamel dots. absolutely love these things. They're, they're great to use, and I love these colors. So there's that. Um, then I used Just Designer Series paper and some buttons that I had around and, and put them in the center along with the enamel dots again. And then I used the Tin of Cards um, sentiments and did the uh, banner punch on each side. So that's a quick one layer card. I put this set of cards together. Actually, I work in a nursing home and I have a lovely lady who likes to write letters. Um, and she was sharing with me her bag of, of store blank cards. So I thought I would put together a set for her um, so she could write. Now this card is the designer series paper and the sentiment is from the Bloom and Love, so we used, I stamped this first, and then uh, stamped the friend inside, and then Fessy cut it out. There may be a framelit that matches that, I'm not sure. And I originally thought when I got the stamp set, because I bought the, I did the bundle, and say 15% that the, that this, which is the framelit, um, coordinated with this stamp. No, no, it does not. Um, there are framelits that match these little flowers here. Um, so let me show you. These are the dies. 
So I do recommend, I do not have the precision plate, but I would recommend getting it and the brush. There is a brush for the Big Shot now that once you take your items out, you run it over the paper and it helps get all of these itty bitty little, little pieces out. Cause I spent some time with my little poker getting them out and making sure that the, I didn't rip the paper. Um, but this is absolutely beautiful. Um, this would be good with glimmer paper, um, but these little flowers coordinate with the with the stamps in that stamp set. Um, so on this, I, I did the die cut on a pink piece of paper, and then I used a new item, a Winco Stella brush pen. It's a shimmer pen. So a little tip for you: you do have to, when you first get it, you have to um, you have to unscrew it and squeeze your glimmer down to the top but then when you want to use it you just pop it off to get your brush so sometimes you have to to re-squeeze don't do it over your project because here's a little tip that's what happened here I got a giant glob of it <laughs> and then I was like hmm now what am I gonna do so I made all of the big flowers look like they had more shimmer than the other ones to try to try to mask up my mistake so that's that card and a little quick tip about the um, Wink of Stella pen this card here, I used designer series paper and the washi tape at the bottom, and then I used um, some framelits that I had. I nested those, and this is actually, um, the stamp set is from an older fall stamp for all things, and I just, it actually says hello fall, but I masked off the fall and just, and just did hello with it. So just a simple um, plain card. Uh, this card here is featuring the designer series paper and the washi tape again, but I don't know if you can tell this hello, which is from the celebration hello set. I embossed using, um, what ink is this? Uh, Island Indigo ink. And then I did clear embossing powder over it. You have to be quick, but if you stamp in any stamping up ink and then throw clear embossing powder over it, you can get a heat embossed look. Um, so with any of the ink colors, so that was a good, and here's the, here's the hello set. So you've got hello and then all my friend, different, so different options and then these cute little um, images here. So that's one of the limited free options. So if you do want that, go ahead and, and, and get that one. Um, so I really like this, this is the favorite paper of mine out of that stack. So this one was my favorite by far that I've made. And this one is also with a celebration item, these flowers are three steps stamping, actually four if you do the center. Um, and then I took this, the little step, the little flower from there and just randomly stamped it. And the just a note is again from the Picture Perfect, um, Picture Perfect stamp set, it's right here. So the, this is the What I Love stamp set, that's where I got this flower from. Um, and I do love this font, it says, <clears throat> excuse me, Know What I Love, and then you've got the option to put you, it's really cute. Um, so this is, I think going to get a lot of use. It reminds me of the Lotus Blossom from Celebration from last year, and I really, really enjoyed that card. Um, <clears throat> I made this as well using that same flower. It's going, I haven't finished it yet, but it's going to be a, a notebook holder um, that I'm making for somebody who runs our local Alzheimer's chapter. So um, I'm going to give that to her because she's done a lot of hard work for our area. Um, I didn't use yet, but I also did get the Love Blossoms 6x6 um, six six pack. This, ha this has some great paper. I take that back. I did do a project that I can share with you. Um, the notebook, I made one for myself because uh, last time I made a notebook holder, I adhered down my notepad, so then I had to get rid of it. So I did take um, the paper from this stack and make myself, and using the Celebration stamp set, uh, made myself a new holder with a place to slide it in and out so I can reuse it. I can just throw in a new notebook. So these are great to have. It, it dresses up having just a plain notebook when you're sitting at a meeting. So, um, and I did make a birthday card for my sister using a few items from the new catalog. Uh, this is a celebration stamp set called Perfect Pairings. I used the Happy Birthday. Unfortunately, I can't show you that card because I gave it to her yesterday because her birthday is this week. Um, but I haven't used this stamp set yet, but I did use the Coordinating Punch. So this comes as a bundle, so you can save 15% and with a bunch of balloon stamps, but then 
the um, punch that goes with it. So I did use this on the front of her card. Um, it came out really cute and unfortunately I didn't even take a picture, but um, I love this let's celebrate, let us celebrate. And then it has different options and eat cookies and eat cake. Um, and then it's got coffee, tea. So there's just, there's just some cute things in here. So I will um, get to use that. The other stamp set that I did order that I haven't used yet is the number of years. These are very large. Um, very large numbers. So these are going to be great for making anniversary cards, birthday cards for a specific year. Like this year, my son turns 18. Whoa. So I'm sure I'll be using that to make him a birthday card. But you know, somebody's got a big wedding anniversary or, um, you know, number of years they've worked or whatever you wanted to use um, the specific numbers for. So I did also, this is also a bundle with the large numbers framelit, the matching framelits to cut them out. So I did um, purchase that as well. So I look forward to using that. So those are the products that I have purchased out of the new catalog and the celebration items that I have received. If any of these projects that you've seen today, you would like to see as a separate video with specific directions, feel free to send me an email. Just hop on over to my website, mariesvermontcreations.com, and you can send me a message there. Um, you can also order any of the Stamping Up supplies that you've seen here today. Um, hope you have a great day.